welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be reviewing swatching and applying um smashbox's new be legendary lipstick and lip mattifier set this one right here i did pay 25 uh dollars for this it comes with six mini lipsticks and a little insta matte thingy that makes the map, kind of. Um, yeah. And then it came with little stickers, which are pretty cute. So it doesn't tell you how well, on the box, it doesn't give you instructions on how to use it. So, um, I'll have to look it up on the website. But they did come wrapped in here. I'm going to open it and take everything out. They look like they look like this. They are so tiny and cute. I love the packaging on these little mini lipsticks. On my Ipsy bag, I got a um, Smashbox lipstick. So I tried that on before this video because I did so my Ipsy one before this one. So I did try it out, but I didn't really play with Smashbox lipsticks. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And it did come with this little guy, which is a Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer. And this is tiny too. It's so cute. And then it has this one actually has instructions to get it on the top. Tap on over cream lipstick using finger until a matte look is achieved. FYI, not. For use with lip glosses or balm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to swatch it in my hand first, and then I'm gonna apply the lipstick, and then I'm gonna apply the mattifier on top to see if this actually really works. So I'm gonna start off with the first shade, which is in the shade Big. Yeah, Big. For being a small miniature thingy, it has a lot of product. And do you guys see the little stamp right there on the lipstick? It's pretty cute. So that's the swatch for that one. It is a pretty shade. So that is this one right here, the shade Big. And it is really pretty. So now I'm going to go ahead and try out the mattifier. Whoa, that is mattifying. Did I see that? I mean, it's still a little shiny, but it did make it a little bit matte. The next shade I'm going to do is in the shade Legendary, which I already tried this one out. I got it in my Ipsy bag, and it's just a red lipstick. Super cute. One, two. Watch it first. Really pretty red shade. So I'm going to apply the modifier as well. Can you guys see the difference? It didn't make it matte. Okay. 
this is it doesn't make it completely matte it kind of like gives it the illusion that it's matte because it's still a little shiny but it's less shiny than it was before the next and the third shade is in the shade witchy this is what it looks like and it's kind of like a brownish burgundy shade and it is really really pretty as well I'm going to apply the mattifier on top as well. When you're applying the mattifier with your finger, it kind of like takes the pigment off. And you have to like tap it or get it even again. Not only that, but it also makes a mess because it's like bringing it over my lip. I mean, it could just be me because I'm not applying it right, but since it is creamy, it does move around when you're applying the mattifier. So, I don't know, I'm starting not to like this little thing. But it is a pretty, pretty shade. So, we'll keep rolling. The next shade is in the shade Audition. And this is going to be a nude shade. And it looks like this. And this is the swatch right there. It's a really pretty peachy nudie shade. Personal preference, I wouldn't wear this shade on my own just because it's too nude for me. I'll probably put it on top of like a darker shade just to like tone it down on top of uh, another nude it is a pretty shade but it's too new for me to wear alone but it is a pretty pretty shade so now i'm gonna apply the mattifier it actually looks pretty matte it looks pretty when it's the next shade is in the shade Prime Rose, and this is another nude, but it's a more of a pink nude. This is what it looks like. And this is the swatch right there. It's really, really pretty. That's a really pretty new shade. And then when you use a matte part, you're going to have to clean it every time you use it. Because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is pretty dirty. It's another lipstick. No. It's pretty dirty from the other lipstick. This is actually really, really pretty. I would wear this on my own, actually. It actually goes with this look. No, not really. I thought it did, but in person, it doesn't look that good on me on camera. Now I'm going to do the last shade. And this is another new shade. And this one is in the shade Famous. And it's another peachy shade. But it's more darker than the other one that I did first. This one right here, and this is the shade, the swatch right there. This is another nude that I wouldn't wear on my own just because it is a little bit too nude, but it is a pretty shade. I like it, but not on, on not on its own. Probably a lip topper on top or a lip gloss. It is really pretty. And then the modifier one more time. This 
This actually helps spread it around. It looks pretty when it's a mess as well. I like it. Okay, so my final thoughts. I did like the shades. The modifier, I mean, it is a good idea because um, they're not matte. So I guess if you want it matte, you can use a modifier. But, I don't know. I'm like, I like it and I don't like it. It makes a big mess when you're applying with your finger because then it spreads it around and since it's creamy, you have to like, um, reapply it or like, um, it's a love-hate relationship with that shit, but it's cute. The I like the packaging, it's cute. I like the shades that were pretty, the lipsticks were creamy and easy to apply. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and until next time. Bye, guys.